Like, I don't know what the bars are, right? Listen, man, I cannot confirm nor deny if the bars are ass, right? You guys take your time and go do your own research and see how ass the bars may possibly be. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers, man. Check this out, man. If it's your first time on He Rants. I want to let you know I'm just a random guy. I like to talk about random stuff that interests me and i just feel like i need to inform you guys about it and if that sounds sexy or attractive to you make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notifications that way you'll always be one of the first people to hear the voice at the same time leave a like because i'm so damn insecure and those likes definitely let me know i'm doing a stand-up job and at the same time you gotta buy the merch mofo and offering females orgasms because we're so humble link in the description box below but it's Let's not waste no more time. Let's get to the first story, man. We got to talk about a man out there in Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's right. We're heading to Pennsylvania, right? In fact, we're heading to, what, Gettysburg? Gettysburg National, Mili National Military Park or something like that, right? We're an unidentified man, right? Which, when you hear the story, you're going to understand why he's unidentified. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be identified, right? Because this is somewhat scary and also embarrassing at the same time, right? So, apparently, what happened was there's this guy. This random guy just chilling out there in the park and such, right? And I guess he had to use the bathroom. I don't know if he had to do the number one or number two, right? But I'm assuming he had to do the number two. And the reason why, because he decided to go to a porta potty. See, by him going to a porta potty, I know it had to be the number two, right? Because you're not going to the porta potty for a number one. Especially if you're in the park. I don't care if it's a national park. I'm pissing somewhere outside, right? I'm not going to the porta potty because porta potty store feces. A whole lot of it, too. Right, a whole lot of it, man. I, I, I would be damned if you see me in a porta potty, right? And then you have to ask yourself, how good is this park, right? Because if this park was as up to standard, right? It should have an actual brick and mortar building with a full set toilet and everything, right? So that way you wouldn't have to. Either way, you don't want to use a public bathroom, right? You don't want to use a porta potty after people been out there hiking. They've probably been sweating and a lot of guys go raw butt. It's just those you can't trust it. You know, a lot of people that go hiking, they usually raw butt stuff, right? So they raw butt in the toilet seats and everything, right? Just putting their whole raw butt just sitting on a toilet seat, man. Just letting it sit and marinate, sitting down there, probably going through their phone, looking at newspaper stuff and all that. It's just disgusting, right? So this guy, he was probably one of those guys. I won't be surprised if he was out there raw butt in that toilet seat himself. And while he was sitting in there, right, apparently a tree decided to fall down. I guess it was the time for the tree to go. And when the tree fell, it smashed the front of his car. But not only that, it pinned him inside the porta potty, right? So at this point, I feel like, man, he's probably stricken with fear and pain. Because most likely if it fell down, it probably shook the porta potty a lot. Meaning there's a whole bunch of feces flying everywhere. Just everywhere in the crevices, inside your socks, inside your shoes and everything like that. Oh God, man, and then you're probably wondering, right, if he got hit, if he fell down while he was in there, did he even have time to wipe, right? Or was he in mid-wipe and then it hit down, man? These are the questions we're never gonna get an answer to because this guy is unidentified, right? But him being pinned down there, right? Apparently time has went by and then the rangers decided to drive around, you know, just rangers doing their patrol and stuff, right? And once they started going patrol, patrolling that is, they noticed something. I don't, I don't know why static went there i mean you, we we already know what they noticed they noticed the freaking tree on top of freaking porta potty and everything right and and the car right what really gave it away was the car when they saw the car they were like what the hell this car belongs to somebody and they're gonna be really really upset where they at then they saw the porta potty i'm not sure if the guy was yelling out for help or anything like that right but uh yeah they realized oh there's a guy in here right so they started chopping they started chopping the tree down and everything right using chainsaws and stuff to get the guy and also they were also chainsawing the freaking porta potty man those porta potties are rock solid right in fact they were saying this he got really really lucky if the tree had just moved a little bit to the side he might have been hit by the tree and everything right and can you imagine that that's a terrible way to die especially you probably won't even have an open casket either right can you imagine the open casket to that my dog isn't behind me freaking snoring what the hell dogs out here really snoring that's crazy right but yeah I, I doubt you'd be able to have an open cat man this dog is still snoring i doubt you'd be able to have an open cat it's just off this freaking the, the cuts and everything probably a whole bunch of feces going and they have to cremate him 
they would have to cremate him that's the only thing right but apparently he's okay right he doesn't have any life-threatening injuries and all that and they brought him to an ambulance still undisclosed right hey listen man like i said before in the beginning i would want to keep my name secret if this happened to me we gotta talk about this guy floyd mayweather man you guys know floyd mayweather your favorite illiterate boxer right it's freaking sad that he can't read but at the same time is it really when you have that type of money i wouldn't really want to. well actually yeah you would still need to know how to read because then you can get finessed on contracts and stuff right but what the joke was going to be like i'd have somebody that i'd pay to read but most likely that person who i'd pay to read will probably finesse me probably finesse the hell out of me in fact the contract that he gave gives me in order for him to read for me and how much i pay he'd probably finesse it a certain type of way so he's making exuberant 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 is that the right word to use exuberant i might need i need, might need to pay somebody to teach me how to talk uh, a lot of money a whole lot of money a whole lot of ch change you feel me but um i digress man that's not even important right now the reason why i'm talking about floyd mayweather right is because you guys know that he's up to fight logan paul right so he got interviewed and they were pretty much asking listen bro floyd man you are established boxer you're 50 and 0 right now in ranked matches why would you stoop to the level to fight a guy a youtuber by the name of logan paul for those of you guys who don't know who logan paul is you guys must have been living under a rock that is the older brother of jake paul you know jake paul has been boxing now for a little bit of time right he uh he beat uh i think jake paul who he beat he beat uh nate robinson he beat the other the other ufc fighter right so i mean uh, jake paul got to really come with some serious heat and logan paul man he just skipped all that went straight to, i mean i think he fought another youtuber and stuff like that but he went straight to this guy floyd mayweather right for an expedition fight and listen i'm interested to see him get, get you know i'm not gonna see he's not gonna get knocked out let's keep it safe logan paul not gonna get knocked out he's gonna lose he's gonna lose off points right that's what floyd mayweather does he's not here to knock anybody out he's here to win off points he's still respected because a win is a win regardless of what you want to say right um but yeah so they pretty much asking like why would you fight this guy right why is logan paul he's like nobody to you right especially when it comes to boxing it's not gonna give you any street cred right but floyd mayweather being the suave guy he is he said it's not because of any of that man it's not because i'm doing it for like kudos cool points and everything right the main reason i'm fighting this guy is for the money right and i feel like listen everybody should know this about floyd mayweather he's all about the money right because he spends crazy this guy this guy spends like wild bro i think he, i think they say he averages about what uh, like 100 million 200 200 or 300 million dollars a fight i can't even believe it's that much no there's no way because this guy's not a billionaire how are you not a billionaire 50 and oh how much money you made this it's just because he's spending like crazy he goes to strip clubs just throwing money all over the place right see this is why i respect people like usher because usher instead of him going throwing crazy bills he keeps his money but he spends ush bucks right gotta love the ush bucks right because the ush bucks they don't hold that much value maybe they hold something in the usher marketplace or stuff like that i'm not sure but he's spending his money wise you gotta you gotta respect it but yeah he said listen man i can pretty much go out and fight a known fighter right now and make about 35 million dollars right so maybe i'm wrong maybe he's not making over 100 million per fight i swear he is though i swear at least he's making close he said i can fight a known fighter for 35 million right now right or i can fight this guy jake paul and get entertained oh ignore my dog freaking snoring in the background that's crazy this dog is snoring like a full-fledged human being it's freaking crazy but um yeah he said oh i can fight fight jake paul oh, not jake paul logan paul like a real like you know for an expedition match even though you know it's not gonna count towards the record or anything like that entertain people and i can make a hundred over a hundred million dollars for the fight it makes perfect sense for me right and i feel like at this point he's just feeling cocky off the strength that he knows he's going to win it doesn't matter win or win or lose he still wins right because people are saying like if you lose to logan paul it's gonna be really being really embarrassing because this guy's pretty much an amateur he doesn't have no real real fights under his belt and everything right if he beats you then he's gonna get a lot of street cred regardless if it is an expedition match right and listen, you know, that might destroy this guy Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather's pride, but I feel like at the end of the day, he's still looking at it as, this is where the money is at, and I need this money, because I'm spending the money so wild. If I keep spending money like this, I'm going to go broke. I'm going to be worse than Mike Tyson, right? So I got to make sure I'm getting the money in at the same time, right? I think Floyd Mayweather is what, like 40 years old now? Got that grown man strength, man. Hey, listen, I think Logan Paul got height over him, too. So I uh, have a Floyd Mayweather is like, what, like 5'6", 5'9", maybe he's 5'9", I'm not sure no he's shorter he's shorter so, so i mean i think logan paul's like my height i think logan paul like 
like 6'2". Yeah, he's like my height or something. So I'm, I don't know. Height don't always mean everything, though. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the reach and everything. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to watch the fight, right? I'm definitely going to watch the fight. It's going to go all the rounds, right? Because nobody's going to get knocked out. But I tell you this, though. I got my money on Mayweather. You got to talk about this guy, Lil Yachty, man. A.K.A. Lil Bo. You guys know Lil Yachty and everything, right? Uh, Listen, man. It's not good news with Lil Yachty, right? Because apparently he dropped a a freaking album called Michigan Boy Boat. I think I think that's the name of the album, right? It doesn't really matter, right? Does it really matter? It doesn't really matter. The reason why I say it doesn't really matter because this thing freaking sold 16k in the first week, right? In his defense, in his defense, though, it was a surprise album, right? I think Lil Yachty at this point he sees himself as one of those up there rappers, right? And listen, I can I can see why he does. I can see why he does. I'm not gonna lie, he has a lot of name out there. He's being big on TikTok and everything. His name is out there, so the clout is definitely high, right? So I guess he thought he got to the point that he could start dropping surprise albums like he's Beyonce or Drake or something. I don't know, or Jay Z. I don't know. I don't know. Well, he did, and um, I think he learned from this. He definitely learned from this and probably realized maybe maybe i'm not that guy yet you know what i'm saying maybe i'm not that guy you know uh 16k though that's definitely more than uh ybn namir's i think namir what did i say he got i think he had 4000 4k within the 4k that's hilarious 4k within the first week or something like that so he definitely did what it will what is that quadruple the amount of ybn Ymir, and that one had promotions and everything right so hey listen little boat i guess little yachty you still doing your thing i guess you feel me I respect still i still gotta say this though man that album definitely went double wood chip you know what i'm saying double wood chip man that joint, they just framed a wood chip from a local playground and gave it to lil yachty like yes sir, bro you earned this wood chip that ass you feel me i had to throw some type of something at him so like, come on i can't just let him go like that we gotta talk about this guy big sean you guys know big sean right he's been quiet for quite some time now right in fact a lot of people has been waiting to see if he's dropping some new project um soon hopefully hopefully drops one soon maybe next year i'm not sure man you know you know the whole c virus and everything's been messing people up lately but uh, I, I don't know what was it uh, what's the last time he dropped a song i'm not sure right but the reason why i'm talking about this guy big sean right because apparently Big Sean may have some haters, right? Some guy, uh, I forgot his name. I'm definitely going to put it up there or something like that. Or maybe I won't. I'm not sure. I don't know, man. Sometimes when I edit, I get lazy. So let's see, let's see what happens if I, if I decide to put his name to the side, right? Um, but this guy, Big Sean, right? Um, just being off the strength that I like this guy. I like Big Sean, right? I like his music. I don't care how his music sound back in the day. I just love how his music is in general right you know it's not like his albums and everything right uh, but this guy decided to come out and say like listen this guy big sean has been flying under the radar and has been up uh, you know absolute ass right he's been going by just dropping terrible 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 bars and nobody calling him out on it right so he decided to drop this first joint right to pretty much show a bar that he dropped a few years ago and he said uh i smash ho i f hoes i'm quagmire i'm quagmire I giggity get it, right? Pretty much implying that he smashes hoes like Quagmire from Family Guy and all, right? The bars make perfect sense, right? But to the to the Twitter guy, he decided to say like, listen, this bars, this bar was ass. This was complete booty, donkey booty, even, right? Um, it doesn't make sense why people would let this go without no one you know, insulting him and such, right? And I can see why he could say that bar was ass. Yeah, yeah, I can see why it was ass. So that tweet got a good amount of retweets and likes and everything, meaning that a lot of people agreed with him, saying that this guy Big Sean is some booty, some donkey booty, some ass, some tuckus even, right? And um, so they decided, you know, this, this guy Big Sean, I think Big Sean, I said they decided, Big Sean caught wind of this and everything, and then decided, like, no, today I got time, right? And decided to reply to the guy and say, listen, man, I'm not going to allow you to freaking hold something that I made years ago and, you know, insult me on it right pretty much i feel like by him saying that he's acknowledging that the bars were ass right you gotta you gotta take the accountability i love that i like big sean man i'm telling you man this guy's a real truth you know what i'm saying he's able to acknowledge that the bars were ass man so he's not denying it right some some people like some of the people that call kevin samuels they just cannot get with the program it's freaking crazy right but it looks like big sean is able to acknowledge that but um so this guy you know he said like listen man i've evolved from there basically right i'm no longer making music like that i've changed a lot from them and it's crazy that you were so you're so mad at these bars that you know you're able to remember these bars from god knows how long ago right it's freaking sad honestly right and he just took it you know he just like 
brushed it off like it doesn't matter i've had millions and millions of dollars this is a random guy for twitter so this guy he didn't care about what big sean had to say right i guess in his mind he was just like big sean is so so much ass that i should continue my onslaught and that he did this is when he decided to just go savage just started t tagging this guy big sean he's dropping different lyrics that this guy big sean has dropped over the years and everything Rest pretty much letting everybody know this is not a one occurrence thing right big sean has been known to be dropping many ass tracks right many ass bars just going without anybody talking about it. i think he had one joint that he said uh, something about i smoke with mirror or oh, harriet tubman or something like that and harriet tubman has a strap or something like i don't know what the bars are right listen man i cannot confirm nor deny if the bars are ass right you guys take your time and go do your own research and see how ass the bars may possibly be right but listen so at that point i think big sean has had enough he couldn't take it so he decided to block the guy right and the guy then shown that big sean had blocked uh blocked him and everything right and this looks bad on big sean right the reason why it looks bad on big sean because he cannot take the criticism you have to be able to take the criticism right this guy you might see it as this guy is keeps on pushing the envelope and everything right and a lot of people might see this guy is a freaking troll he's a freaking loser he has no time he has so much time on his hand probably not getting pussy or anything like that because that's the go-to right when people have a lot of time in their hand they automatically insult the guy and say that this guy gets no pussy and such right and it might be the case he might but you can also get pussy and still it only takes seconds to put out a tweet you can be smashing your girl and right after you smash it you're like smoking a cigarette and then you just put the tweet and everything just roasting people and stuff like that right but this pretty much gave that guy an evil grin laugh right and i'm pretty sure that this guy is still probably dropping off lyrics just so the masses will know how ass big sean was or still is i'm not sure to me i don't feel like he's ass right like i said before i feel like he's a good artist to be honest with you very very slept on right he needs to drop something to make this guy shut the hell up but until then uh, this guy's definitely winning is definitely winning and at the same time uh janae akko right i know this is completely random but this was the fact that janae akko is going out with big sean and she said that you gotta eat the booty like groceries and janae akko does not have any booty whatsoever whatsoever nobody really called her out on that right it's crazy because i saw i was like oh she said eat the booty like groceries i was expecting to see some some serious tuckets and then when i saw it there wasn't there wasn't much there wasn't much at all there wasn't really much at all so i don't know what big sean was doing with that i don't know what he was doing with it doing something catching a fire or something like that because that's a lot of bone to pelvis action right there i'm not sure i'm not sure but you know big sean cheats he does cheat though so maybe that's why maybe he just he loves her personality because she's still pretty and everything too right she probably loves her look and her personality but she still cheats to get the real tuckus and everything makes sense it makes perfect sense actually yeah it definitely does but that's all the news i got for today man if you stay this long i appreciate you i love you man make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notifications that way you will be one of the first to hear the voice and at the same time leave a like i feel so damn insecure those likes definitely let me know i'm doing a stand-up job and unless YouTube knows to spread my voice out there to the masses at the same time you gotta buy the merch. No foe. Man offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. And that's all I gotta say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out. Uh, 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 uh.